What is going on guys? Welcome back. This is my first match of a tournament that I'm just starting uh, called the International Teams Challenge. It's really cool. Uh, it's primarily Latin American uh, run and like participating in it, but that's super cool. I really like Latin America as a region. Like I'm excited to like get to know some more of the players better. Um, but yeah, basically this is just a team tournament. It's kind of like the World Cup. Uh, I will have an overlay made for it soon. I don't yet. I'm really sorry about that, but uh, with my computer breaking and everything, like it's just been it's been a little slow. But today I'm playing against uh, a player named Ewok. Ewok Padawan, I believe, is the full username, depending on where he is. Um, and let's go ahead and fix this. Whatever. Um, basically, he's a Holy Spirit. He's a good friend of mine, and so I, I drafted him this year for NPA. And um, yeah, he's a really nice guy. I met him at Worlds. He's like super cool. We're playing. This is a two out of three VGC 2016 match, as far as I'm aware. I once again will be using my world's team. This is a really tough matchup. I am not pleased at all. This is basically the bad, 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 bad matchup. Um, I don't know if I can do anything here. I might just forfeit. Um, yes, but I'm using my world's team, so there's a chance is how I feel. Um, the fact that he has primals among his mints is really hard. Basically, everything is super hard. There's a chance. That's all I'm saying. I definitely won't write you here. Uh, I have to watch out for that Gengar, the Mence, the Amoongus. And the only good thing here, the only positive I can see is that he can only bring four Pokemon. That's just about it. That's the only advantage I have. I I can lead with the Rayquaza, but like I really don't want to. I don't want to deal with that Gengar. I don't want to deal with that Mence. I might just have to let things take a nap. I think that these three should definitely be coming for sure. I really like him on top, but I might have to leave him on the bench here. I think for game one, though, I think I'll bring my him on top. Um... Oh, Bronzong can be so Bronzong's really good against Mence and Amoongus, but so bad against everything else. Though, getting a Trick Room could actually be pretty good. I'm gonna do this game one to kind of get a feel for the playing field, and then from there, I think game two I might make the adjustment because like Bronzong's really terrible here, unless you can find a way to get rid of the Kyogre, and also find a way to get rid of. Actually, yeah, just like getting rid of the Kyogre Kyog is pretty big. Um, Kyogre and Amoongus are kind of the things that stop the trick room mode, for, uh, my trick room mode, from being really good here. Otherwise, it'd be pretty, pretty, pretty solid. But, um, in terms of strategies going in, I'm just gonna have to try and target down the threats when I can. Um, I don't know. I don't really feel like that equipped to deal with the stuff. But, you can't win them all, and you definitely can't win any of them. And that's kind of where we are right now. Um, and that's okay. You know, that's really okay. I'm just going to try and play well. I guess that's like kind of the short version of this. Um, so I'm going to leave with Crytro and Kyogre. Obviously, you guys saw my bottom screen, so you knew that was the plan. Anyways, let's see what he does. Amoongus and I would assume Ment. Gengar. Okay, that's super interesting. Um, I think the obvious... Okay, so what's... The obvious play is really that important. Is there a way that I can cover for everything? I can go Fake Out Water Spout. I can go Volt Switch... Water Spout. I can go fake out. Uh, what do I want to do? Oh, I looked. I saw the time. Sorry, my layout's a little bit wonky, and it said eight. And I was like, I have no time. Um, he probably expects fake out Water Spout, right? So I could go for a read here and go Volt Switch Water Spout, or just switch into Rayquaza Water Spout. I think that would also be solid, but it's really risky, right? Because if I let the Moongus start getting going. It's Mega Gengar. Okay, that's interesting. That's super interesting. So ideally, Amoongus protects here. That's the ideal situation, to be honest. I'm not sure he needs to, though. Okay, so this could go very badly. This could go super badly. That went really badly. Long story short, that went really badly. Um, that was a great move on his part. Very well played. That did a lot of damage, so... Oh! Red card! That's not, that's not eject button. Well, that went interestingly. Okay, that went really interestingly. Something's, something's taking a nap, and I, I have a feeling it's not going to be something I want to take a nap. Okay. That's super unfortunate. For your boy. Um, we know the item on Amoongus. That's pretty important. And he doesn't exert a ton of op offensive pressure here. Gengar's Protect, Amoongus' red card. Am among, among us. Among Us. That's weird. That's super weird. Protect Rayquaza? I'm gonna go for Protect. Okay, so here's my thinking. I'm not super threatened by anything this turn. Um, I threaten the Dragon Ascent. He doesn't really want anything to take a Dragon Ascent. Like, basically getting rid of- he probably doesn't have Ment, and if he does, it doesn't matter because it's not Mega form. So, um, well that went badly. 
That went very badly. That went so badly. He might not have Will-O-Wisp. That's the only consolation I can see here. <laughs> this is going very badly, if I do say so myself. Um, the only positive I see is that... There's no positives, only negatives. That was a good move on his part. He covered everything. I could have Dragon Ascended, I guess, but... <sighs> okay, sorry. Let me think. Let me actually think. Gengar goes Sludge Bomb into Rayquaza. Amoongus goes Protect. So I'll do this. It's Icy Wind. Oh my god. This is actually the worst birthday ever. That did so much damage. This is going really badly, to be honest. Yeah, this is going... I should've just gotten rid of the Amoongus. Icy Wind, Sub, Protect? Sludge Bomb? I guess I know the moves. It's not really worth it, though. It was a terrible trade in terms of everything. Um, oh. This is really bad. This is really bad. Okay. I'm starting to understand what's going on here. And it's really bad for me. Um, I can't let him... I can't let him trap my Kyogre in. That's, like, super important. Um... This game is still super winnable. I just have to start getting some momentum. So I think something like this could be good. Rayquaza's taking a sleep and I can't switch. Okay, that's interesting. Hephaesto. God of the Forge. Groudon. Okay. That's super interesting. Hephaesto is the God of the Forge, not Hephaesto. Maybe this is... maybe I, mean, I, don't, I don't know. His nickname might be different. If he subs here, this is going to be really bad. Like, very bad. Also, if I don't wake up, that's also going to be super bad. Protect. Solid move. Solid move on his part. Definitely respectable. Um, can't really do anything to stop it. Raichu wakes up, but it's kind of too little too late at this point. Um, the only good thing is that... There's no good things, actually. The only good thing is that... Because with minus one speed, this ground on definitely on speed to me, you know? So, I can't really do that much. Um... I'll do this. Yeah, this is an interesting trap. Mega Gengar is kind of tough. And especially with the Moongus. I, I was more expecting the Mence to be the threat, not the Mega Gengar. Uh, though now that I know all the moves, I feel a little bit better. Like, a little bit, but not much. Rayquaza, let's go for it. Wakes up, goes to the Protect, so I will make it through this turn. I think it would have been better to delay Mega Evolving in that case. There was not really a reason to do that. Um, Sludge Bomb comes out into Raichu, so he's probably going for an Eruption. Poison, okay, so I'm poisoned. Eruption, yeah, so it's specials, probably at max speed. Um... This is interesting. This is really interesting. There might This might not actually be over. It's looking really bad, but if he has Kyogre as his fourth, he might be in kind of a, a tough situation where, um, where he might, like, he, he has to bring in his Kyogre at some point, you know? I think I'm going to do this. Is it better to... If his Gengar protects here, am I just screwed? Should I go for the Extreme Speed? Should I go for the Dragon Scent? If he doesn't attack my Rayquaza... If he doesn't attack my Rayquaza... Um... Then I can... Um, mine's one, he might protect his... He protect, if he doesn't protect his Gengar, then he's going to lose his Gengar. I'm going to do this. That wasn't what I expected. Yeah, that was a good move on his part. Icy Wind comes out. Super smart. I mean, this would be nice, but it didn't uh, happen, unfortunately. And so now, minus one Kyogre. And I don't really see a way out of this one. It's looking really rough. Yeah, because he probably has Thunder on his, on his Kyogre. Um... And with only Hitmon top as my last, it's... If I had Bronze on here, it actually would be kind of solid. Because I could send him Bronze on and go Safeguard, Water Spout, and then go from there. But I have him on top, uh, which changes things. Also, it's really important that we know this Groudon has Eruption. It'd be good if we can, if we can find out that last slot. Um, yeah. Um... 
Um, Kyogre Groudon from the weakest left. This isn't looking good. I think there's a small chance. A very small chance, to be sure. Uh, I'll go for the Water Spout here, trying to catch this Amoongus switch in, and go for a Faint um, on the Kyogre. I think the obvious switch here is Groudon into Amoongus, and he might just Thunder, honestly. He, he doesn't have a lot to lose. Yeah, Groudon into Amoongus here. Um, ideally, this Kyogre protects. I don't think it's super likely, but it's, it's a possibility for sure. Um, he does go for the Protect, so I, I get the correct read this turn, but it's, kind of, it's probably too little too late, you know? Um, unfortunately. So Fang comes out here, gonna break the protect, gonna do a bit of damage, but with my drop speed stat, it's just, it's just not looking good, guys. I'm sorry. Water spent is a bit, but just nowhere near enough, um, at all. I do have the threat of ice beam right now, which is pretty cool, but I don't think it's gonna do that much for me in the long run. Ah, uh, I can go for the ice beam on Amoongus. I'm kind of afraid of a thunder. I think I'm gonna predict him to go for a thunder and protect on the Amoongus and go for a close combat here. So, ideally, this is Protect Amoongus and Thunder. Rage Powder. So, literally the worst possible move. Let's see what this is. Thunder? Thunder. Okay, so I I guess in theory that was a correct move. Just in practice, not so much. I wonder if Origin Pulse KOs at this range. I don't think it does. Water Spout did almost nothing. Water, uh, Origin Pulse is significantly weaker. Um, I'm just going to go for the crit stuff. Yeah, uh, Amoongus goes for Rage Powder. And it's, it's just like, it's not looking good at all. Is the truth. So he'll get the Thunder off because he's definitely... And, and it's also clever because he didn't reveal any information about anything. Uh, like, I don't know the speed stats of Zakaira because he Icy Wind in me. No Paris. Ah, oh, I messed up the speed stats so bad. I didn't have a better move, I guess. I didn't really have a better move. That's unfortunate. I could have gone faint. That wouldn't have done anything. Oh no. Oh, not like this. Big damage. Cool, okay. This turn I'm gonna make the read that he goes, uh, Origin Pulse, and I'll do that. So ideally this works out, unlikely that it does. Rage Powder comes out. This is probably Thunder. If it's Origin Pulse, it, I don't think it matters. I think I'll lose it away. Origin Pulse, okay. I'm making these little reads, but they don't really matter. I'll get my own Origin Pulse off. I will connect both this time. Um, feel a little bit better about my humiliating defeat. Cool, that's going to happen there. Um, if my character weren't slower, I'd, I'd have a better chance, I think. But uh, my character is slower, so... Whew. What does he do here? I think he just Earth Powers because I'm at minus two defense. I think he's Earth Power Thunders, and I don't think I can stop it. Um, I can hope that he misses. I hope that I live the Earth Power and then that he misses Thunder. Do I have a better move than this? Because I can protect. I can protect close combat, you know? I'm going to do that. So he doesn't practice Kyogre. This I just don't feel good about this. I don't I don't see any way that this works out for me. He goes for an Earth Power into Hitmontop. Yeah, he might just Ice. Oh, Ice Beam actually is probably smarter. Thunder. Okay, Hitmontop is a homie. And now I just have to take the timer, and it's easy, right, guys? Time the time runs out right now. Clap. Ding. Your time is up. Um. Okay. Let's think. This is actually it's kind of close. I think that he just goes... Does he go Eruption? So I here's, here's his options. He can Earth Power. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that the Earth Power is Kyogre. And hope that he does an Eruption. Because I think the Wide Guard of the Faint are the obvious plays. If I Wide Guarded, I could have won this one. I actually think I would have won this one. Yeah, and I can't live it. I can't live in Earth Power after that, unfortunately. So I am gonna lose this game. Um, I got a lot of really valuable information. I think it was a good game, nonetheless. I, I guess I could have wide guarded there. If Ice Beam was a two KO, oh, I could have gotten wide guard into Ice Beam into Faint, and that would have won. That's really unfortunate for me. Bad play on my part. Wide guard definitely might have been the safer move. Um, it was just a, it was just like a guess at that point. Um, 
but yeah, this is this is two out of three sets. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I'm gonna try and do better next game. Obviously, I learned a lot of really cool information. Uh, Ewok has a really cool team, and yeah, I'll see you guys for game two. Thank you so much for watching.